so previously I reported that both Jazz and Tay agreed to do a sit down video. Now after Tay posted her video and people started to send it to Jazz, Jazz went on to Twitter and stated, tell Tay to unblock me on IG so we can set the sit down video up for y'all. Tay responds with, you're unblocked. Now people in Jazz's comment section were saying things like, LMAO, I hate exes like you. Jazz states, damn, y'all want me to be petty or see growth. Another person states, leave her alone, she at peace. Jazz says, LOL, bro, she said she wanna do it herself, she a grown woman. So now after this was posted all over the blogs, Crystal had to make a response. She goes onto her Twitter and she tweets, I couldn't even think the same, eat the same, B word, I'm finna make your chest cave in. Then she says, a B word gonna go back to what she used to know when she knows she can't F with nothing over here. That's all I'ma say. Then someone calls Crystal bitter. Crystal responds with bitter for what? I get N words. I ain't mad over no effing dyke. Have it. Then she posts photos from a club that they were at when they had a sign saying your ex could never. She states, anyways, life's great. My favorite birthday signs, Libra. So I'm pretty sure people were sending this to Jazz. Jazz went on to tweet, it is what it is. Go be mad about it. Cry to God, not me. Crystal responds with, keep it cute before I tell who really be crying. Then she also says, she beefing with me cause I went outside and found a better N word. My fault, you should have played with the B word who couldn't do better. Someone responds with, Crystal, you ain't found nobody better than her. You really wanna cry. Crystal responds with, cry for what? B word, these are Chanel tears. So Tay just gracefully posted a video of her and a dog laughing. So now you guys already know the situation that occurred with Karina and Flo and how Jazz and the crew posted a TikTok making fun of kicking Flo out of the house. So I spoke on Flo's ex Nooney defending him. Now people were really going at her. So she responded with, oh y'all that mad cause I'm being real. I bet nobody come out saying I'm fake though. So y'all can shut up. So then Jazz posted a video on Instagram pretty much stating why she decided to cut Flo off. She posted a photo with a song playing stating, just protecting the brand, you gotta protect the brand. So I want your opinions on this. Was Jazz and the crew right for cutting Flo off? Because again, like Jazz stated here, they have a brand to protect. Or do you agree with Funny Mike and Nunu that you don't cut friends off when they make mistakes. Nunu stated, Flo has never put hands on her. Now Karina did post on TikTok, I'ma be back sooner than I thought and it appears that her face is clearing up. But let's move on to this next topic with Carmen and Corey. Now I recently reported that Carmen and Corey are no longer together. Carmen even moved all of her things out of the house. Now this just happened about two days ago, but Corey decided to fly to Miami. Now he was on Instagram live and he's actually there with a girl that he's claiming to be his assistant. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm letting you know. You know how you get, you get goofy. Look at that skyline, GTR. Yeah. What, what was that? Some of my face still? Right here? No. So now after people saw her touching his face on that Instagram live, Corey quickly had to go and clear things up. I thought I could meet a great ass assistant. Now I have me a 24 hour assistant guy that's always with me, making sure my life go great. Shit's amazing. So Corey stated that this girl is his assistant for 24 hours a day. So does that mean she's going to be moving in with him? Now she's been trying to keep it on the low. I mean, Corey was recording a video. You can see her in the background here trying to move out of the camera's way, but she was spotted. So this is Corey's assistant. Now, when they were on Instagram Live, Corey did introduce her. Hey, hey, Brown, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. Oh God, we in straight ground mode. That's all. You feel me? I'm saying, I'm my assistant. She don't like being free. 
Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you hurt for me now. It's over. You got to see. Members only. Now, let's speak about something else that Corey stated on his Instagram Live. Now, if you guys remember about four years ago, the Prince family kind of exposed Carmen. They stated that she was illegal. Carmen, it's from Corey's Live. Someone stated, he said in his last live that he wanted a girl that he could travel with because Carmen couldn't leave the country. Corey said she couldn't. Maybe she can't get a passport because she's not a citizen. Another person states the fact that they made the Prince family seem crazy when exposing she wasn't a citizen and they wasn't lying this whole time is crazy. Now, Corey didn't actually say why Carmen couldn't leave the country, but people are assuming it's because she's not a citizen. Like I stated, the Prince family had exposed that four years ago. Now, if you guys also remember, Corey's former cameraman exposed Corey for taking all of Carmen's money, having all the money. She doesn't have access to anything. Well, now Corey is stating it appears that Carmen may have went to one of his friends to borrow Let me money. Tell y'all something, man. When you go borrow money from your friend and don't even tell your you don't even t you don't even ask your for the bread you ask your nigga friend for the bread that's OD and you don't pay him back let y'all have it Y'all women different nowadays. I guess y'all can do what y'all want to do. So this may be another Chris and Queen situation. You guys remember Queen stated she had to start over from scratch because Chris had access to all the money. What I'm not getting is Carmen shouldn't have to go to your friend Corey to borrow money because you should be giving her money because she has two of your kids plus she has her own channel which she should be making money from but now if they have it set up where all the money is going to one account then Carmen wouldn't have access to those funds but you guys leave your opinions on everything down in the comment section below